What's going on, world? I'm just sitting outside in the hatchback of my Rogue, and I'm just sitting there thinking, man. That's why I don't make or care to make the drill and the trap music, the beats. Because like I said once before, I'm trying to change all that for our community because all that music now is just killing everybody, you know? Music used to be fun. Music's supposed to be entertaining, enjoyable. But our music nowadays is killing everybody, you know? And I was just thinking, um, look at the guy right here in Bogalusas, you know, not to bring up nothing to anybody, you know? Everybody know who he is. And I was just thinking, I seen him and my cousin on a video together, and um, now the young man is dead, man. I mean, you know, so we gotta be careful out here, man. I mean, it's like Boosie said in his videos and many other rappers said in his videos, you know, if you get to a certain level of success, success and your money, man, I mean, you just got to be grown and be an adult and you got to leave the hood alone. I know if your mom and your parents stand there, come on, y'all. We know we got people hating us from our own place secretly. So, you know, you just can't pull up in the hood with $100,000, $200,000 cars, you know, because them people still living in property and they look at that as a slap in the face, even though you should have the right to do whatever you want. But um, <clears throat> on that note, though, you know, me personally speaking, if I ever got the type of money, I don't know how it is, but if I ever got that type of money, you know, and my mom, them, or my people, they still in the hood like that, bro, I know people hating on me, man, and I know somebody to take an opportunity, if, especially if you got money like that. So me personally, I will arrange for my family, you know, if I can't move them out, I would arrange for them when I come to visit, to meet me at a nice little motel or lodge or something, you know, an undisclosed place, you know, because people just waiting, you know, when your success come, they waiting to take you down. You know, it's, it's crazy. You know, we should be reaching out, helping each other. You know, I'm, I'm trying to help, you know, much of the youth if I can, my nephews, you know, whatever. I'm trying to get them all to do some music, but you know, good music. So that's why I'm trying to change the beat surround so I can, you know, focus on something positive, man, because when I go to record that music, man, it'd be so chilling. You know, it brings flashbacks to Chicago and all that. So I, I be trying to get up out of all that. But anyways, y'all, I just wanted to speak on that. We got to stop this violence. You know, a lot of it is in the music. I know it's what we see and what's going on in our community. But somebody got to stop it, you know. And the feds and all them, they not stupid out here. You know, they want the music to change. It's killing everybody. The state got Rico's now. So all the state doing is picking up all the rappers that, you know, want to kill and get gang organized and stuff because they look at that as gang activity. So if you're in a group and that's gang activity, sooner or later they're going to be trying to hit y'all with a Rico. So be smart out there, you know what I'm saying? You know, make your money, man. Uh, stay out of danger. You know, I know it's hard to say because it's out everywhere you go, but just try to stay out much danger as you can and still stay dangerous at the same time. Watch yourself, you know, I'm not saying that. You can't be stupid, you know, you can't be out here lacking, but try to make a change. Try to set example for your sons and for my sons, because we got them young men coming up, you know, we got to do something. So y'all go check me out on YouTube, Robert Payton Jr. You know, it don't cost nothing to hit a like and subscribe. You know, my content coming, I'm just getting started. You know, this video will be on there also, so you know, just spread the word, you know, check on my page. I got an anchor podcast. You know, I'm gonna do video contents coming on there soon. You know, I'm on Twitter, hit it all up. You know, I'm there. Y'all, I mean, I'm I'm here every day. I'm a no nonsense man. So I'm just trying to spread the word, you know, to stop the violence as much as we can. We know it's gonna be violence. It's been around since the beginning of time. The Kane killed his own bro, you know. So, we just got to fight temptation, man. The devil is busy. So, you know, in order to fight the devil, you got to put on the whole armor. The whole armor of God. Not just a piece of it, the whole armor. You know, stay in your own lane, stay out the way, man, your business. That's another way you can make it, you know. But with those words of encouragement being said, you know, if I become 
an activist or whatever, you know, for my community or YouTube or internet influencer, then it's all for the right reasons. I have nothing to say about my brothers out here making the money, trying to make a living, trying to feed their family. I'm not like Charleston White. I don't wish death on nobody. I don't wish jail on nobody. You know what I'm saying? People do what they do and get themselves in trouble, then they have to deal with them consequences. But far as me as a human being and a person, I don't wish nothing bad on nobody because we all created by God and we all equal in his eyes. And with that being said, y'all stay tuned and y'all follow me. I got guests going to be coming on my podcasts, people from around the neighborhoods y'all may know. We're going to blow in time, baby. It's the only way it can go. I'm signing out. Monroe, Louisiana. You hear me?